Clear Lake project is a project in which we try to find out how plants and animals re responded to climate change in the past. And we're using lake sediments from this lake for that. The Clear Lake is really exceptional. It's one of the oldest lakes in the US. And we also know that from previous research by the USGS, that there are several spots in the lake um, where you can get a continuous sediment record going back to at least 130,000 years. It allows me to play detective with mud at the bottom of the lake. Uh, we know that environmental change has occurred in this area in the past. Now, can we find the evidence? Can we find evidence of changing climate, shifts in climate from wetter to drier? I mean, the information is there at the bottom of the lake. You just know how to get that information from the mud. You can see the pipe that's spinning is, what, is what's called the drill strings. So when we want to take a core sample, we, we drill that down to the place we want to start, and then we lower in what we call our lake sediment coring tool. And then they'll pressurize the whole string, so they'll pump water into the string to keep the tool in place. And so then they'll actually drill down about three meters to collect our core. So once the tool comes out, we'll break it open and take the plastic liner out that has the sample in it. And then we suction it into, into sizes that are more convenient for shipping and for the instruments back at the lab. We label all of those samples and then we, we get them ready for transport. We have a team of 17 faculty members and other people associated with Berkeley that are going to look at a variety of signals in the core. So we're going to analyze the hell out of these sediments. So far we've recovered about 150 meters of sediment core from the bottom of Clear Lake. This section of sediment core that I have here is from about 120,000 years ago, a time period in the Clear Lake area that was very similar to today's climate. By analyzing the fossil pollen, charcoal, insects, and elements and geochemistry of these sediments, we'll be able to reconstruct the history of environmental change in the Clear Lake area and how the plants and animals responded to a changing climate. Increasing temperatures and less rain will have a big effect on agriculture. You know that Central Valley produces crops for half of the United States and we're going to really feel it if we won't be able to do that anymore. So if you want to be prepared, you have to know what's waiting for you. I hope we will be able to get a lot of nice detailed records of response of plants and animals during periods of climate change out of these sediments. And I hope the results will be useful for policymakers to make the future a little bit warmer future, also a better future.